Welcome to MD Conversation. This module discusses an overview of a procedure called colonoscopy. This information is taken from a recent review of the medical literature and attempts to be as comprehensive as possible. However, it may not necessarily reflect the experience of your healthcare provider or the specifics of your situation. This program is strictly informational in nature and no attempt is made to provide opinion or recommendation. Please feel free to view this presentation as many times as necessary. You may also use the player on your left to repeat slides or skip through them in any order you wish. Colonoscopy is a test that allows your gastroenterologist or surgeon to look at the interior lining of your large intestine, which includes the rectum and colon, using a thin, flexible instrument called a colonoscope. A colonoscopy helps the doctor view possible ulcers, polyps, growths, or tumors and see areas of inflammation or bleeding. During a colonoscopy, tissue samples can be collected and abnormal growths can be removed. A colonoscopy procedure can also be used as a screening test to identify and remove precancerous and cancerous growths in the colon or rectum. Colonoscopy may be done to investigate symptoms such as abdominal pain, rectal bleeding, change in bowel habits, anemia, which is low blood cell count, or other abnormal tests such as barium enema or CT scan. It is also performed in patients with a family history of colonic polyps or colorectal cancer. The colon, or large bowel, is the last part of your digestive tract, also called the GI or gastrointestinal tract. The colon is a hollow tube that starts at the end of the small intestine and ends at the rectum and anus. It is about 5 feet long and its main function is to store unabsorbed food waste and absorb water and other body fluids before the waste is eliminated as stool. Prior to your colonoscopy procedure, you will receive instructions from your doctor. These instructions will explain what you will need to do to prepare for your colonoscopy. It is very important that the colon is completely clean in order for the colonoscopy to be successful. To prepare for the colonoscopy, you will have to follow a liquid diet for one to three days prior to the colonoscopy. The liquid diet should be clear with no food colorings and it may include fat-free bouillon or broth, strained fruit juice, water, plain coffee, plain tea, diet soda, or gelatin. You will then be asked to take a laxative. This will cause mild cramping, repeated urges to pass stools, and diarrhea. In an optimal situation, the fluid which is left should be clear or light yellow in color. Types of laxatives that may be prescribed to you by your doctor are Golatelli, also known as polyethylene glycol electrolyte, or PEG solution is a laxative solution intended to increase the amount of water in the intestinal tract and replace electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, and chloride, that may be lost due to diarrhea. PEG solution is used to cleanse the bowel by inducing diarrhea before your colonoscopy. Colatelli and Fleet's Phosphosoda, an oral liquid or rectal enema, may also be used to clean the bowel. Finally, mag citrate or picosilix liquid form are commonly prescribed. These compounds increase water in the intestines, which may induce defecation. In some cases, you may be asked to give yourself an enema. An enema is performed by inserting a bottle with water and sometimes a mild soap into your rectum to clean out the bowels. Be sure to inform your doctor of any medical conditions you have or medications you take on a regular basis, such as aspirin, arthritis medications, blood thinners, diabetes medication, and vitamins that contain iron. Your doctor should also be aware of any heart diseases, lung disease, or any medical condition that may need special attention. When you arrive, you should expect. The procedure will take 30 to 60 minutes and may be done in your clinic or hospital. The mild sedative and pain medicine should keep you from feeling much discomfort during the exam. Expect to remain at the colonoscopy facility for one to two hours following your procedure so the sedative can wear off. Be sure to have someone available who can drive you home once you have recovered. This test can be embarrassing and uncomfortable for some people, and this is natural. During the test, you may feel very drowsy and relaxed from the sedative and pain medications. You may experience cramping or feel brief, sharp pains when the colonoscope is advanced or air is blown into your colon. As the scope is moved up the colon, you may feel the urge to have a bowel movement and expel gas. If you are experiencing any pain during the procedure, tell your doctor. You will feel groggy after the test until the medication wears off, usually in a few hours. Many people report they remember very little of the procedure because of the sedative given before and during the procedure. For the colonoscopy procedure, you'll be asked to lie on your left side on the examining table with your knees drawn up to your abdomen. 
As mentioned, an IV will be inserted into your hand or arm, and a nurse will monitor your vital signs, look for any signs of discomfort, and make adjustments as needed to your medications. You will be given a mild pain medication and a moderate sedative to keep you comfortable and help you relax during the exam. Once you are comfortable, the doctor will gently insert a gloved finger into your anus, checking for any blockage or tenderness. He or she will then insert a long, flexible, lighted tube into your rectum and slowly guide it into your colon. The tube is called a colonoscope, and it is about the thickness of a finger. The scope transmits an image of the inside of your colon onto the screen so the doctor can carefully look at the lining of your colon. The scope will bend so the doctor can move it around the curves of your colon. You may be asked to change positions at times so the doctor can easily move the colonoscope to see the different parts of your colon. Air will be blown into your colon to inflate it and help give the doctor a better view. During the procedure, your doctor can remove most abnormal growths in your colon, like a polyp, which is a growth in the lining of the bowel. Polyps are removed using tiny tools passed through the scope. By identifying and removing polyps, a colonoscopy helps to prevent many cancers from forming. Your doctor can also remove a tissue sample, called a biopsy, to test in the lab for diseases of the colon. In addition, if any bleeding occurs in the colon, the doctor can pass a laser, heating probe, electrical probe, or special medicines through the scope to stop the bleeding. The tissue removal and treatments to stop bleeding usually do not cause pain. In many cases, a colonoscopy allows for accurate diagnosis and treatment of colon abnormalities without the need for a major operation. Complications or possible risks from the colonoscopy procedure are rare and overall occur in about 0.2% of all cases. There is a slight risk of puncturing or perforating the colon or causing severe bleeding by damaging the wall of the colon and a slight risk of causing a colon infection. If you have had certain types of heart murmurs, artificial heart valves, or previous infections of a heart valve, you might require antibiotics before and after the test to prevent infection. An irregular heartbeat may occur during the test, but it will go away on its own without treatment. Following the procedure, you will be kept in an observation area for one to two hours or until the medication given wears off. As noted, you should have a ride home arranged, as your reflexes and judgment may be impaired for the rest of the day, making it unsafe to drive or operate any machinery. Your doctor may recommend taking it easy for the next 12 hours. You may have some cramping or bloating that can be relieved quickly with the passage of gas, and you should be able to return to your normal diet upon going home. Please read your discharge instructions given to you by your doctor carefully. Medications such as blood thinners may need to be stopped for a short time after having a colonoscopy, especially if a biopsy was performed or polyps were removed. Full recovery by the next day is normal and expected, and you may return to your regular activities. Rarely, some people will experience severe abdominal pain, fever, bloody bowel movements, dizziness, or weakness following the procedure. If you have any of these side effects, contact your physician immediately. A colonoscopy is a test that allows your gastroenterologist to look at the interior lining of your large intestine, also known as the rectum and colon using a thin, flexible viewing instrument called a colonoscope. It enables the physician to see things such as inflamed tissue, abnormal growths, and ulcers. Prior to your colonoscopy procedure, you will receive instructions from your doctor. It is important to follow these instructions carefully, as a good preparation of the bowel makes for a better evaluation. The procedure will take 30 to 60 minutes, and you will be given pain medication and a sedative to help you through it. During the procedure, your doctor will insert a long, flexible, lighted tube into your rectum and slowly guide it into your colon. The scope will display an image of the inside of the colon onto a video screen so your doctor can carefully examine the lining of the colon. If during the procedure, polyps are found, they can be removed. Your doctor can also treat bleeding in the colon and take a sample of tissue for testing. There is very minimal risk associated with a colonoscopy procedure, such as puncturing of the colon or colon infection. Overall, this important procedure is very safe and well tolerated. This slide lists some of the many resources available where you can find more information about the colonoscopy procedure. We sincerely hope that this module has furthered your understanding of colonoscopy. We wish you the best for the future and thank you once again for using MD Conversation.